What's up guys? So again, another little talkie video today. I just want to talk about one thing that's been uh, sort of, uh, I don't know if it's controversial per se, but it's definitely something that we've, we've debated about for a little bit. So before the Massive Blob event, the two year anniversary event was started, uh, the original intention was that there was going to be a, an event pet box of sorts. So the logic of the box would be that you would have a chance of getting every single um, old event pet. So obviously, um, and I've I pitched the idea multiple ways. We had a pretty big discussion about it in game, but I wanted to get some more opinions because how it was originally rolled out was that there'd be the box. It would likely contain the pets at different rates. Um, there was two thought processes, all of them the same rate or different rate with the rarer pets being harder or rare. Um, either way, it was fine, but there's going to be that box, um, and then we were going to make every single pet treatable that was a, an event skilling pet, or not an event skilling, just any event pet, such as, um, for example, Banshee, the Penguin, the 4th of July pet that very few people probably even know exists because it was only out one day, um, this pet right here, Blob, so those kind of pets, make them treatable, and then the box would be, the original idea was in the in-game donator store for about, I think, $20 or 2,000 credits. Um, so that was that was the idea as I presented it to the players, um, and a lot of people didn't like it, and they didn't like it for reasons that I'm not really sure of, um, because I thought the original idea behind it was that they didn't want or the reason you guys didn't like it was that you didn't want the pets to be in game, you didn't want them to be devalued. For example, the first the first event pet ever, the Shaka Han, I don't have, even though I was there for the event, like I just didn't get it. So. Um, you know, that's a really rare one that's not a, one a lot of people have. Um, so I can understand that if you have one or you just like the idea of really rare pets, that would devalue the hell out of it. Um, so that was my understanding of, of, of what I... That's what I thought you guys didn't like about the idea. But the more people talked about it, there was a lot of different opinions. People... Um, it seemed like the main two were they didn't want it to be a donator related. Um, which I understand. The only reason I, I wasn't trying to, like, be greedy and pay to win or anything. The, the logic was just to make it rare. If it's 20, and that's why it was going to be in the, in the, in the in-game store. So if you had in-game credits, you'd be able to purchase it that way. So you could, you could, you could get it without ever actually donating. Um, but that was one of the things people didn't like. They, want, they thought maybe Pug Point Shop. So the reason I'm making this video is what are, you, what are your opinions on it? What are your opinions on a sort of box that would contain old event pets? Another part of the idea that it seemed like people didn't like was the fact that they were all going to be tradable. People didn't like that. They wanted to be untradable. But that's a weird one for me because a lot of people want the pets tradable. Right now, there's a big demand in the Discord to make the, you know, the blob pet tradable. Um, most pets, when they come out for events, uh, I just generally forget. Like, there's been a couple instances where the pet has been tradable, and I forgot to make it untradable. And then once I've, you know, been alerted to the fact that it is tradable, I make it untradable, right? So... Some pets have been treatable before, but they've all been basically reverted back. And this one, I, I didn't forget, so obviously it was never treatable at any point. Um, yeah, that's, I really have nothing to say for this video, because, my, like I said, my opinions um, were based on what I thought, you know, your, were your guys' opinions, but then I was wrong. You know, you proved me wrong. So, so there's, there's a few things I want to talk about, and I know most people probably either won't watch this video or won't care enough to reply. That's, that's fine, but for the people who do care, do have an opinion on the subject, please give me your comments below. I'm not going to make a straw poll or anything, just comment if you have an opinion. If you don't really give a shit, then I don't know why you're watching this video anymore, because that's all this video is going to be about. But Yeah, so there's, there's a couple things I, I want your opinions on, and just give me sort of an overview, of what, you know, whatever you want to type, comments below, um, and I will hear your voice. Um, so the first question is, do you, is this even something you want? A way to obtain older pets. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, well, yeah, because they, they, they would just be event pets. Um, you know, they, I wouldn't include, like, God of War's pets in this box. Unless that was what you guys wanted, which, again, I really have no clue. <laughs> because anytime I think I know my player base, they, they, they prove that I don't. So that's why I'm gathering your opinion. So that's the first question. Do you even want to see something where you'll be able to get you know, limited time pets? Downsides, obviously, it devalues those pets. Upsides, at any point in the game... You could, I don't want to say any point because it was pitched uh, to be only out during events, but it's really up to you guys. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, you could get one of those older pets. Somebody right now could just get lucky, I don't know, either purchase the box through Donator Store or if you guys didn't like that idea, the, the in game Puck Point Shop, which is kind of like a loyalty point system. So that kind of works. Um, so then you, you purchase the box from the Puck Point Shop, 
open it up, you get the, the rarest pet in game, the Shaka Han, or, or whatever. So I can see the benefits for both. I, I think it's one of those ones where it's, there's a lot of people talking about it, so I definitely wanted to make this video to get your final opinions. And if it is 50-50, then we'll just do whatever. But um, So the second thing I want you to figure out is how do you get it? Are we doing Pug Point Shop? Are we doing Donator Store? Um, either in-game to make it accessible to everyone or online to make it even more rare. Um, there could be, I mean, you could make it a mob drop. Like, I don't know, some certain boss um, comes out and you can kill it and it drops an event. I mean, that's kind of weirder and different. But again, like any idea you think is worth um, contributing, by all means, post that in the uh, post that in the comments. I, I will hear it. And then the other one is, should they be treatable or not? Now that's going to be um, you know weird because obviously the older, the rarer, the more expensive. Um, I'm fine with it. I personally like. I, I I don't like the idea of tradable pets that you earn. But if it's, well, it's, it's, it's one of those things where I really don't have a stake in it, so I just want to get your opinions. And I feel like the problem with this issue is that it's so 50-50 that nothing can really be done. <laughs> There's no way to, to solve the problem because not enough people care about it or are even interested in it. Um, so, so I don't know. But those are, those are really the main things I want you to, to, to think about and comment below. Do you think we should include a pet box of some sort? And this would be for older event pets. Should the pets be tradable? How should you get the box if we do want it in game? Let me know your thoughts on that. Maybe just for the while the event is out, that specific pet is tradable, and then once the event comes ends, it's it's untradable. That still really wouldn't help people from the past, but you know, I, I'm I'm really open to your guys' opinions. Uh, I do like I said. I, I know I've been saying <laughs> I've got a bunch of videos ready to go, and they're on they're on their way. That is still true. I just don't want to upload. Um, my next pug series until the event is done so I can spend all these. Um, I've actually dumbed down my gear. Uh, hopefully I'm not spoiling anything. I don't think any of that is spoilers. I hope not. Maybe the helmet. I don't know. I don't remember when I got that. <laughs> but there's better stuff that I have that I didn't want to spoil. So I, I got another episode coming. It's just... It's just I want to wait until these are there. And then the series with Pawn. I just want to make sure it's finished. Whenever I'm doing group series, um, a lot of the times someone quits out and they're, you're just kind of sitting there with your dick in your hands. Um, so we decided that we would uh, we would just finish the series and then upload it. So in case something happens, in case we lose interest, and you know, in case whatever happens. Um, so I don't I don't want to upload one video and then we, we we don't finish it and it's just like everyone's hopes up or you know let down or whatnot. But um, we've we're, we're doing pretty good on that. We're about I would say we're about halfway point, and I would think the total amount of videos would probably be like four, uh, three or four. So. That should be a nice little week whenever I am uploading that. Bankbusters is always fun. I uh, will be doing another one of those very soon. And then obviously the event. So, or not the event, boss invasion. The raids. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one. Um, I don't think I have anything to show you. Uh, no, I don't have anything to show you. Nothing, nothing that I can really spoil. I don't want to spoil anything. So, um, yeah, just let me know your, th your opinions. I will end the video there. There's way too much rambling. I, I think I spent eight minutes saying like, 20 seconds worth of stuff, but uh, yeah, let me know your opinions.